بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد قشن أساس متى يكون الزواج واجبا When is getting married obligatory? When is it mandatory? We understand from the question is that as if the questioner believes, thinks, or feels, or has been taught that getting married, the default ruling is not necessarily obligatory. The default ruling is that it's something which is optional. You can get married if you like, and if you don't like, don't get married. And as if the questioner is already thinking or has been taught that there is a time or a place or a situation in which a person goes against the default. The ruling was that it's permissible to do, recommended, whatever. But in this situation, now you have to do it. If that's the case, when is that, when is that time? Al-Jawab, the answer says, يجب الزواج على من خشي على نفسه الوقوع في الزنا فمن لم يتجنب الزنا إلا بالزواج فيجب عليه الزواج As it says, marriage is mandatory upon someone who fears falling into zina. Someone who's afraid that he can't keep chaste or she can't remain chaste. The sexual desires overpower their self-control. Then at that time, marriage becomes mandatory. It becomes obligatory at that time. Uh, he says, so anyone that can't avoid it unless he has a, a wife or unless she has a husband, then it becomes mandatory. This fatwa was given by um, the late Qadi of Yemen, Sheikh Muhammad ibn Ismail al-Umrani, rahimahullah, who was considered to be uh, one of the grand judges of Yemen. And these questions come from uh, a radio program. People call him and ask him questions. So if that's the case with regards to Yemen, which is majorly, majorly populated by Muslims, and which is a great deal of cultural shame and taboo and shyness, then what is the case with New York City? Or is the case with New York City? The scholars of Islam, they say that when it comes to getting married, most of them hold the view, not all of them, but most of them hold the view that it's recommended. It's not mandatory. But they agree that you have to get married in this instance, in which you can't stay chaste unless it's through marriage. And then some of the ulama of Islam hold the view that marriage is mandatory. It's a personal obligation, even if a person isn't afraid of making zina. Both parties, they have their proofs and they have their evidences. What's important is, is based off of this ruling, many things come into play, such as the relationship with your son or with your daughter, such as sending your children to college, career before marriage, marriage before career, love before marriage, marriage without love, many of the modern day issues that we have today, uh, Muslim matrimonial websites, is it permissible for me to go on this website and find a wife? A sister says, is it permissible for me to uncover my face and have it online or just by niqab? Is it permissible for me to talk to someone without my wali knowing I'm trying to get to know him, he's in another country, I'm in another country, etc. All of these rulings are based off of this one concept. Is that if someone is obliged to get married, then they have to perform the necessary steps and means to get married. And it's upon the man or the woman, the young boy, the young girl, the teenager, or 21, however old a person is, and also their family to all cooperate in implementing the ruling. In brief, what I'm trying to say is, is that if your son cannot avoid haram except through marriage, and he can't get married for finances or uh, whatever the case may be, if you're his father, it's upon you to help him. If it's your daughter, it's upon you to make it simple and easy to facilitate for her to find a good husband. And not say, well, you can't get on a matrimonial site, it's haram. You can't talk to this boy in WhatsApp, that's haram. Okay, then you as the father or the mother now have to provide that outlet. Because that thing which is obligatory, and it can only be done through something, then that thing now becomes obligatory as well. Uh, that electricity, it has to have a what? It has to be what? It's conducted through something. You can't have good electricity with bad wires or electricity without any wires. The wires are no less important than actual electricity. Everybody understand this? So this is something that Muslims have to think about critically. If I have to get married, then it's upon me to learn how to be responsible, save my money, to be this, to be this. Whether it's the one who wants to get married, him or herself, or whether it's the guardian, the family member, the spiritual advisor, or whatever the case may be. So therefore, in summary, the fatwa says that it's mandatory to get married if a person fears that he's going to fall into zina. And if he doesn't, if he or she doesn't fear they're going to fall into zina, then the mufti here, 
rahimahullah is saying that it's not necessarily mandatory, but the scholars of Islam, they say it's a preferable thing. Whereas marriage brings forth many, 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 many benefits, spiritual and social. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely knows best. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.